last part is going to deal with X and Y intercepts. First of all, identifying them from a line, and then secondly, taking an equation, finding your X, Y intercepts, and graphing them. So let's start first with identifying them from a given line. Okay, X and Y. Let's do this point and this point. There's my line. Okay, so first of all, what is my x-intercept? Well, that one is my x-intercept. It is at negative 1 on the x-axis. So your x-intercept by ordered pair is negative 1, 0. But in your online system, it is asking you simply to identify the number. So you would say, my x-intercept is negative 1. And then they will ask you for your y-intercept. Well, this one up here is 1, 2. So this is 0, 2 according to an ordered pair. But again, in your online system, it is simply asking you to give the number of what? where that line crosses your y-axis. So again, in your online system, your y-intercept will be 2 in this case. And again, your x-intercept will be negative 1. So that's the way it's done in your online system. But if you were doing this by hand on a piece of paper, we would want to see the ordered pair. So you need to understand the difference of what they're asking in the online system and what you would normally do to identify this x-intercept and my y-intercept. Okay, let's look at another line. What if I had a line that, oh, let's get that a little straighter there, not too good, x and y. Okay, let's do some lines, hash marks. You can see how inconsistent my hash marks are sometimes. They're not all the same distance. Okay, so now let's draw a line right here. Okay, now, does this line cross my x-axis? No, it doesn't. And because it does not cross my x-axis, there is no x-intercept. And when you have something like this, you will be given a choice, and you will click the circle for there is no x-intercept, because the line does not cross the x-axis. It only crosses the y-axis. So therefore, you only have a y-intercept, and this y-intercept is going to be 1, 2. It is the number 2. And again, that ordered pair would be 0, 2. Okay? So let's do one more. a line like this. Again, on this one, here's my intercept. Which one of the axes does it actually cross? It crosses only my x-axis, right? So therefore, my x-intercept happens to be a negative 2, 0. So my x-intercept in your online system will be labeled a negative 2. Okay? But, since it does not cross my y-axis, there is no y-intercept. 
So again, that will be the circle you will choose in your options for a y-intercept. There is none. And so you can see that you have x-intercept and y-intercept where your line crosses both the x and the y-axis. You have y-intercept only or possibly x-intercept only. So we have three different possibilities when we're talking about x and y-intercepts. Notice with the y-intercept only, you have a horizontal line. Where you have an x-intercept only, you have a vertical line, which we will then look at in some of our next lessons as we look at it. So our last thing is to take an equation and graph the line using x and y intercepts. And that is exactly what they're going to request in the last part of this assignment. So let's do a couple of those. 2x minus 3y equals 6, for example. Now, Remember in your ordered pairs when you're graphing an x-intercept and a y-intercept, we build two ordered pairs. One ordered pair has a zero in the x, and the second ordered pair has a zero for the y. So how do we find those? Well, first of all, put zero in for the x. So two times zero, minus 3y is equal to 6. That is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. And I'm left with negative 3y equals 6. Remember, in equation solving, you now have to divide by your negative 3. And we end up with y is equal to 6 divided by negative 3, which is a negative 2. So, this one builds what is called the y-intercept because my x is zero, I only have a number on the y. So that is by y-intercept. The next one will build my x-intercept. So I'm going to put zero in for the y because that's where the zero is in my ordered pair. So this gives me 2x minus 3 times 0 equals 6. Negative 3 times 0 is 0, and I'm left with 2x is equal to 6. Divide by 2, and x is equal to the number 3. Therefore, 3, 0 gives me my x-intercept. Now, all I have to do is put my x and y axes. Let's see if we can get that a little bit straighter here. That looks better. And again, hash marks. x axes, y axes. 0, negative 2 is my y intercept. That's my first one. No right left movement down 2. 3, 0 is my x-intercept, so I move 3 and no up and down, and that gives me my second point. But you're not finished until you draw the line. Remember, this line represents every single solution to this specific equation, okay? There are many solutions to these equations. In going to our coordinate plane system, it becomes really obvious all of a sudden that now we have the true meaning of the word variable because as we change our x value, our y value also changes, as you can tell. Every single point on this number line, on this line, expresses a different solution, so a different x value and a different y value that always makes this particular statement true. So it's really important to see that as part of your equation. Let's do one more. How about... Oh, let's go negative 12. Again, as you notice, I put a lot of negatives out there because I want you to see what happens, okay? Again, 
we have two ordered pairs, a zero for my, oh, see what I did? I put an X, oh, X in where I should have put a Y. A zero and then my Y value and an X value and a zero for my Y value. So let's do that. Put zero in for the X. So I have negative three times zero minus six Y equals negative 12. This is zero. So I'm left with a negative 6y equals negative 12 divided by negative 6. And I end up with y is equal to the number 2. Therefore, 0, 2 gives me my y-intercept. Now I'm going to put 0 in for the y-value. Negative 3x minus 6 times 0 equals negative 12. That becomes zero, so I have negative 3x minus zero, which simply leaves me with a negative 3x equals a negative 12. Now, undo the multiplication there by dividing by a negative 3, and I'm left with x is equal to the number 4. So, my 4, 0, then, is my x-intercept. Now, my picture, my graph. So I have an X and a Y. And let's start drawing hash marks. Okay, I have a zero, two, that's my first one, and Four zero is my second one. Notice my two dots, and now we're going to draw the line. As you can see, again, it makes another line connecting those two X and Y intercepts. And this is what your whole assignment is going to do. You're going to look first at find the X and Y intercepts, and then graph the x and y intercepts. So you end up graphing the equation of a line. The line is the equation for, is the graph for this specific equation. Every point on that line again contains all of the solutions for that specific equation. So there you are. That's the end of that particular assignment. Good luck.